Oh boy, is this a funny thing to talk about. Before you go out there and start yelling at each other in the comments like last time, please just remember this video was being made out of good fun. This is, at the end of the day, a funny story. Is it an immature one? Yeah. Is it one that probably shouldn't have happened? Yeah. But is it funny? Heck yes it is, and all the memes that are gonna come out of this, I cannot wait to see them because when was the last time we had something like this in hockey, eh? We had ourselves the St. Louis Blues post-season interviews. They got eliminated by the Colorado Avalanche a few days ago, if you had not noticed. And we had ourselves Jordan Binnington joining the podium. He didn't end off the series with the St. Louis Blues because in a collision with Callie Rose and Nazem Kadri, he got taken out and he was ultimately removed for what would have been a timeline of a few weeks. I'm not really too sure what the actual number was. If anybody wants to go out there in the comments, let me know what that was. And hey, I appreciate you. But he did not end off the series. It was Vili Husso who ended up getting lit up by the Colorado Avalanche. They ended up losing the series in six games and we know what happens next. Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon, it's Mick versus Mac, whatever, whatever. Whatever, whatever, but for Jordan Bennington, in the last game that he played, he had himself a moment. A moment in the post-game segment of the night where him, still in the arena, ended up throwing a water bottle, presumably, at Nazem Kadri, the Colorado Avalanche player whom he was involved in a collision with, which caused Bennington to get this season-ending, series-ending injury. Kadri was doing a post-game interview with the guys over on TNT Sports, and while he was in the middle of doing the interview, in fact, while talking about Jordan Bennington, he noted how he thought, hey, I think he just threw a water bottle at me, at that exact moment in time. We then had TNT camera crew members going out there and saying, yeah, that was Bennington, he threw a water bottle at Kadri, there was a picture of the water bottle that was surfacing online, and the water bottle very much looked like it had water in it. Obviously, a water bottle getting chucked at you is not going to hurt, it's just the professionalism here. Where is that? There's a level of social comprehension that I think you have to have to recognize that throwing a water bottle at an opponent, whether or not that opponent took you out of the series or not, is a good thing to do. For about a week, we were going out there and saying, oh, I don't really know what's going on there. If Bennington actually did throw the water bottle, it's pretty much him throwing a temper tantrum for Kadri getting him injured. And heck, it's not even Kadri's fault 100% because Callie Rosen is kind of part of the reason why that hit was even as bad as it was, in my opinion. But this story was there for a week. And then today, we had ourselves the postseason interview for Jordan Bennington. And somebody asked him, Hey, the water bottle. What was that about? Here's the quote published on Twitter in a text form by Jeremy Rutherford. I went to get my knee checked out mid-game. I was coming back to the rink, and the game just ended. Walking down the hallway, I couldn't find a recycling bin on my way down the hallway. Right before I walked into the locker room, I see him kind of doing an interview there, country, smiling, laughing, and I'm there in a knee brace limping down the hallway. I just felt like it was a God-given opportunity. I could just stay silent and go in the room, or I could say something and just have him look me in the eye and understand what's going on. Something to think about. Yeah, I just threw the water bottle. An empty water bottle. It landed like two feet from him. It is what it is there. I mean, but it is what it is. It's hockey and it's a competitive game, so that's it. And, man, just when I thought the situation was done, just when I thought, oh, we're just gonna brush this under the rug and we're gonna forget about it when the regular season comes around next year, nah, man, Jordan Bennington goes out there and he confirms it. He's like, yeah, I threw the water bottle. That was me. I wanted to give him something to think about. So, yeah, it is what it is. And... Dude, you remember the video we made a week ago, right? We talked about this same thing. Again, it's not because, oh wow, Jordan Bennington went out there and he tried to hurt Kadri. A water bottle getting chucked at you that's gonna hurt so bad he could've injured Kadri, man. It's not that, it's the respect, it's the professionalism. You're a pro athlete, you're making six million dollars a year to stop hockey pucks. And this is the type of behavior you display off the ice? And that's the key right there, off the ice. On the ice, body checks, cross-checks, interference, whatever, punches, hockey is a legal sport. You're allowed to do all that stuff out there on the ice. But off the ice, when the game is over and done, post-game, whatever, you see a guy in the parking lot, don't go out there and start a ruckus. You see a guy in the hallway, don't go out there and chuck a water bottle at him. And... Look, I don't even know if Bennington is, like, telling the truth there when it comes to the water bottle being empty, because there was a picture of it. I don't really know if it was empty now that I take a look at it, because, like, 
I don't know, the ground texture looks a little bit off underneath the water bottle, but then again, the plastic is pretty oddly shaped, so I'm not really too sure. I think everybody knows that when you look at something through a glass of water, that thing on the other side looks pretty different, so I'm not really too sure if this water bottle was empty. But again, that's not really the point here. The point is, Bennington's going out there and saying, yeah! That was me. I did it. And it's kind of funny seeing the responses from social media. Here's a tweet that was deleted by Steve Clark Media talking about how Jordan Bennington had owned up to his moment of immaturity and how we should all move on. The tweet was deleted, so I just kind of summed it up for you. Cam Robinson replied saying this, Owned it. He defended it and gave credit to... God for the opportunity. <laughs> he deserves all of the hilarious and piling on comments that are going to come. And you know what? I think that's more likely the case too. He's going out there and saying, yeah, that's me. God gave me the opportunity. I had a water bottle. I couldn't find a recycling bin and I saw him right there. God given opportunity. Like that is hilarious. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't really know if he's going to get fined or whatever. The professional conduct there is really not, like, present. I think everybody can kind of acknowledge that, that this is not the way a professional athlete should be behaving. But the fact that he went out there and doubled down, he's like, yeah, I did it. Like, a God-given opportunity. What is this, God's plan? We're not bringing religion into this, but God's plan. That's what he pretty much went out there and said, yeah, it's God's plan. Turned O2 into the O3, yeah? This is one of the replies on Cam's tweet. Owning it would have been, I couldn't find the recycling, so I threw it with the rest of the trash. If you want to go about owning it, that would be owning it. And saying, yeah, doubling, tripling, quadrupling down on it. But instead of fully owning it, it's like Bennington tried to rationalize the entire situation by saying, yeah, I was in a brace, he was smiling on the interview, he was doing an interview and I saw him right there, I wanted to give him something to think about. Like... I don't know. You could have gone the wrestling promo route and said something like that to be really, really confrontational about it. This is also what Cam said, just to clear everything up. People often take things too far on the internet, and I agree, that is unacceptable. But if you say stupid things or you do stupid things, you can expect people to make plenty of comments. Now, if he was contrite and introspective on the matter, it would be far easier to acquiesce and give him the benefit of the doubt. If Bennington was like, yeah, I was heated and I was overly emotional, I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven, I'm simply here to apologize. Yeah, no, I know that's the Logan Paul meme, but like, if he were to say something similar in that range, like, it would have been a lot easier to be like, oh, okay, Bennington realizes that what he did was unprofessional and everything, but he's like, no, I did it because God gave me the opportunity to. That's funny, isn't it? Like, I think this Reddit comment kind of sums it up the best. I think we can all agree, it was stupid, it was pretty funny, and it was on brand for him too. Jordan Bennington has had a reputation of being not the best loser in all respects. He can be a pretty sore loser at times, especially when other people are getting up in his face. And you can see just the way that he acts on the ice. I said this in the last video, I'll say it again, if he wasn't a goaltender, he probably would have been beaten up by a few other NHL players by now, because goalies you don't hit the goalies right you don't do stuff to the goalies but this guy the way he acts as a goalie is definitely on the more confrontational side of players we have seen in the national hockey league especially when it comes to pettiness like I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing a guy in a hallway and throwing a water bottle at him how classy talk to me in the comments all your thoughts about bennington and this st louis blues story i hope you enjoyed this video and kadri is playing later today against the edmonton oilers so we'll see how exactly he responds from the controversy and bye.